I'm Mrs. Hasty, and today we're going to have fun with even and odd numbers. This is Mr. Odd. He likes odd things. He says one, three, five, seven, nine. I like odd numbers all the time. This is Mrs. Even. She likes even numbers. She says zero, two, four, six, eight. I like even numbers. They're great. One, three, five, seven, nine. I like odd numbers all the time. Zero, two, four, six, eight. I love even numbers. They're great. Mr. Odd decides to go to the zoo. There's only one person going. That's an odd number. Mrs. Even likes even things, so she decides to go too. One, two, two is an even number. Mr. Odd invites a friend. Now there's three going to the zoo. There's an odd man out. So one, two, three, three is an odd number. Another friend comes along. Now they're in pairs. One, two, three, four. Four is an even number. A fifth friend comes along. Another odd man out. One, two, three, four, five. Five is an odd number. If a sixth friend joins them to the zoo, now they're in pairs again. Six is an even number. A seventh friend joins the group. With an odd man out, seven is an odd number. An eighth friend gets on the bus. Eight is an even number. Now there's nine. Another odd man out. Nine is an odd number. If we add a tenth, everyone's in pairs again. Ten is an even number. Ten people are going to the zoo. Can you help me figure out if the number of cubes in these stacks are odd or even? Let's start with the red stack. We remember from the trip to the zoo that if all of the items are in pairs, then it's an even number. All of these cubes have a pair, so this stack has an even number. What about the green stack? Oh, there's an odd cube out. So that means that this is an odd number. Let's look again. Do we have all pairs? Yes, we do. This is an even number of cubes. What about our blue stack? I see the odd cube out too. That means that this is an odd number of cubes. And our yellow stack? Is it odd or even? You're right. This is an odd number because there's an odd man out. Our pink stack? This one is odd again. And our purple stack? All in pairs. That makes this an even stack. What about the white stack? One pair, that's right. This is an even number. And our brown stack? Even again, all pairs. Last one, and he's all alone. There's only one. That makes this an odd number. Thanks for helping me find odd and even. One, three, five, seven, nine. I love odd numbers all the time. Zero, two, four, six, eight. I love even numbers. They're great. If you remember the rhyme from Mr. Odd and Mrs. Even, then you 
we'll be able to tell whether really big numbers are even or odd. Let me show you how. All you have to do is look at the last number. The last number in 12 is 2, and we know 2 is even. So 12 is an even number. If we look at 23, the last number is 3. 3 is an odd number. So 23 is an odd number. What about 108? 8 is, you're right, even. So we have an even number. 5 is odd. So we have an odd number. 0 is even. So this is an even number. We're getting bigger. 4 is even. So this is an even number. <gasps> what about 496,543,927? Can you surprise people by knowing whether that is odd or even? All you have to do is look at that 7. 7 is an odd number. So this whole number is odd. Good job. Thanks for doing even and odd numbers with me today. And come back again for more learning fun. Keep learning at home by writing numbers on cups. Then separate them into even and odd numbers. Outside, find a branch or a flower. Count the leaves and petals to see if there's an even or odd number. At snack time, you can count your snacks. Do you have an even number or odd number of snacks? And there's always printable resources available at my teacher's store at teacherspayteachers.com. Don't forget to subscribe.